Hey everyone, I'm back. <laughs> okay, having decided what my channel will be about, which will be anything that I'm interested in sharing and believe that you guys will enjoy watching, whether it be about beauty or lifestyle or about Taiwan. So with that being said, today I'll be introducing my Lazy Naturals series. I am a fellow natural and I want Lazy Natural at that. I know sometimes it's really hard for naturals to manage their hair on a daily basis. So over the next couple weeks, I'll be sharing some information on how I deal with my hair in hopes that it will help you deal with yours. So the first thing I'll be sharing with you guys is free easy head wrap styles which I love to do on days where I just don't want to comb, honestly. <laughs> so if you're interested in how I do these, please continue watching. So today I'm going to show you guys how I tie up my hair on days where you know I just want to want to comb and that normally is a thing for me after I wash my hair. So um, normally when I wash my hair, I wash it and I untangle it and I plait it up and allow it to dry. So sometimes the day after or the day in question I just don't feel like you know styling my hair here we have some freshly washed hair I washed it yesterday evening I left some conditioner in I plaited and I allowed it to dry we do I put I put it in a bun to the back of my head and then I pin it down so I pin it down upwards so it's basically flat okay another way you can do it is take it individually and pin it around your head this morning i honestly didn't have time at a morning class i honestly didn't have time to do that so i just put it in a bun to the back to, in the nap of my head and i pin it down okay like this okay so let's start if you're the type of person who likes their um their edges to be laid or you like things to be slick like me um. okay to lay my edges i'll be using the cream of nature argan oil perfect edges and to maximize the hole i'll be layering it with some olive oil eco styler you can go ahead and use whatever works for you that's totally okay as long as it does the job for you Okay, now with that done, we're going to take a hair tie or bandana, whatever you use to tie your hair. We don't want it too close to the front. We want it a few in, like an inch away from your edges so that when you wrap it, that um, they don't see your hair tie. And the hair tie is to help um, the fabric from slipping off during the day. Okay, so what it comes down to now is wrapping the fabric onto your head. So, first we're gonna start with folding our fabric. So, I'll be showing you guys how I fold the fabric. And in the description box, I will leave the dimensions of my fabric. So, you can always go to a fabric store and get whatever pattern you like. I normally take one of the edges and I fold it into a small triangle or if you have a lot of fabric you can make it a little bigger so you have less fabric to work with once it's on your head. Okay so that piece you just folded, that section that you just folded, 
you take it and you put it to the knob of your head like I should. <laughs> oh, this is stressful. Trying to describe this is stressful. I hope you guys understood what I said. <laughs> okay, having done, now we're gonna pull all the fabric to the front and we're gonna tightly twist it as shown in the video. Okay, with that three-step piece, we're going to make a bun with it at the front of our heads. If you want it bigger, you can make the twisted piece a little looser. You can wrap your bun as you desire. I did it a couple times before I got one that I actually like. Okay, this is me trying to figure out whether I like it or not, which I didn't because <laughs> I tried it again. Okay, so I finally got the bun that I like. Okay, so it's gonna take a, a couple tries before you get one that you like. Maybe. Okay, I really don't know what I was thinking about at that moment. Anyways, on to the next one. Okay, so we're gonna be folding the fabric and putting it on our heads in the same manner that I showed previously. Okay, so this one a little harder to to um to to explain. Um, so once you turn the fabric over to the back of your head, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm horrible at this. Anyways, so I'm going to make sure that majority of the fabric is out and you're going to take just piece of the fabric and tuck it under, tuck it to the other side. Okay, or under wherever, wherever your um, your dimension of fabric allows you to tuck. Because sometimes, if you have a small amount of fabric, you might not be able to to um, tuck it um, all the way to the other side of your head. Okay, so that majority that's left, we're going to take it and we're gonna twist it like we did in the first in the first um, style. Okay, and we're going to take it to the side other side of our head as i'm showing you guys so i'm gonna do it again and and we're gonna find somewhere to tuck it tuck the ends okay and again it really depends on the dimension of your fabric okay where it allows you to tuck the end Okay, so on to the next one. We're going to fold the fabric and put it on our heads in the same manner that we did in the previous one. And we're going to turn the fabric over to the at the front, um, to the back of our heads. 
the same that we did in the previous one yes I like this okay with this one I put I turn it over more to the side so it looks like it has like a side part um, you can put it on whatever side that you want whatever suits you okay so once you've done that we're going to turn it over again at the back and bring it back to the front hope that makes sense and then we're gonna tuck the edges to the front So this is it. This is actually my favorite, favorite style. Okay guys, so this is it. These are three easy head wrap styles. It takes about five to ten minutes to get it done. Um, I hope this is useful for to you guys. And uh, this is perfect for days where your twist out doesn't come out the way you expect it to, or you have a um a set of old a week old um um hairstyle that you don't want to wear out anymore, so you wanna cover it up but but still look good. So yeah. So comment below which one is your favorite and if there's anything that you would like me to, you know, get some information on, please let me know. Anyways, until then, bye!